Seventh time's the charm. Okay, so I, I recorded a whole playthrough, and thankfully the second part got saved and is being uploaded right now. Uh, but unfortunately, this will not be my first run through, it'll be my second, so actually, maybe that'll help us uh, speed things up a little bit. Um, so, first of all, I just wanted to point out that this is one of the only games I've seen that has a uh, a motion sickness option, just like separate menu, uh, which is so thrilling because um, when I first started playing FPSs, uh, I think it was Bioshock Infinite, um, within 10 minutes of starting it up, uh, I had to go and vomit. Um, and the only other piece of a consumable um, entertainment that's ever made that happen is Cloverfield the movie. Uh, which is the handheld, uh, like the shaky cam horror movie. Um, I projectile peeps inside of the uh, ladies' restroom. So um, that's just nice that there, that's there. Uh, I had to adjust my mouse earlier to drastically lower the sensitivity. Um, but we're good now. Oh, I hope to. God, this records. Okay, so. Um, in my first video of this playlist, which was only made like two days ago, I mentioned that I have 199 uh, video games in my inventory and that uh, I'd rather not get to 200 before I uh, fully explore what I do own. Um, and this is game number 200. Uh, <laughs> uh, I bought one game today, and it's this game, the Talos Principle. Um, it has probably the most overwhelmingly positive uh, ratings that I've seen on Steam. I think it's like 99% of people um, overwhelmingly positive. Uh, and um, just my first impressions looking at uh, the um, um, looking at the trailers and the screenshots. Uh, the aesthetic appealed to me, obviously, um, as well as the idea of it being a puzzle-based game that has uh, pretty serious consequences depending on um, your later actions and, of course, sort of like a, a religious commentary or overtone. Um, but on the last point, if it gets too political, uh, that's I, I, will, I will not be a happy camper because I don't necessarily want to get too... Um, preached to, uh, but the concept of, you know, humanhood and, uh, humanity and, um, sentience and all of that stuff is really interesting and then, um, pair that with, uh, increasingly difficult puzzles and it's really, um, fantastic. And, uh, the, uh, writers that joined on after the puzzles have been devised in order to create the narrative, to pull it all together had worked on Faster Than Light, which is um, purported to be an amazing uh, game, but um, and I own it, I think, but I, I never really got into it, but it's supposed to be really good. Uh, and the other one is The Swapper, which um, is really great and um, reminds me of the movie Moon with Sam Rockwell, uh, which uh, if you haven't watched, I guess just close your ears for a second. Um, Basically, I'm um, just the idea of uh, the original and the duplicate and what the difference is if uh, consciousness exists in both. Um, and we can talk about it uh, in terms of cloning, uh, or we can talk about it just in terms of like signs and semiotics and stuff like that and exclude the whole human factor, like mimetics, you know, um, what started where and what's real, it's not. Um, but uh, the person who uh, put together the Swapper also, um, I think, like, invented an entire new mode of gameplay, I think. Um, 
it's it's puzzle solving that's like along the lines of portal just like this game will be when i show it to you in a minute um uh in that it's it's like manipulating uh, multiple aspects of your environment um generally not timed uh it's not really like a um, reflex type thing um but you're using certain tools to your advantage, such as uh, the portal gun, or your ability to create multiple clones that can carry out tasks for you, but only act as puppets that mimic what you're doing, um, and various obstacles will cause them to either, you know, lag or, or gather all in one spot, um, and then you can switch back and forth, uh, the main character can inhabit any one of his clones, um, to the point where you lose track of, you know, who the original is, so, um, if you want to think deeply about the game, then, then you can, otherwise it's just a, a good puzzle. Oh, jeez. I don't know what happened. Alright. Oh, play. So, I'm going to start a new game to, sh to show you guys uh, what's up. Um, it'll probably go a little bit quicker. But not that much quicker because I'm, I'm not um, feeling very bright today. Uh, I don't know if you saw my, like, I think two minute video where I opened Big Pharma and saw all the visual elements and uh, quit. So. this this was really funny like in the view model like if you look at like overwatch there's the hands um if you play bioshock like he's always like looking at his left hand and behold child you are risen from the dust and you walk in my garden hear now my voice and know that i am your maker and i am called elohim seek me in my temple if you are worthy. I sure am worthy, mister. Uh, so I, I was noticing that, um, before I even get started, uh, there's something about the textures um, in this game. And maybe this is covered in the second part of my video, uh, which came before the first part. What a mindfuck. Um, that all of the textures seem way too crisp, and I think maybe that ties in with like an actual plot point, or maybe it's just um, a flaw in the design to me, uh, aside from like the skybox and stuff. Um, just uh, in real life or in painting, um, there's the idea of like a atmospheric haziness, like the further back things go, uh, or, or in photography, like um, depth of field, uh, only certain things are in focus, even, even for the human eye, um, and just everything here is like excruciatingly sharp. But, um, the first time I played this, I, I was kind of nervous because I've been trained from years of uh, <laughs> playing things like this. Like port, I did Portal many years ago when I was living in Providence. But uh, you're not supposed to enter areas like this, but uh, I did, and I was fine. Initiating child program logic check. So eventually figured out that I am the child. So. I thought I would die if I went through this, but uh, it just does that. I was like very legitimately very afraid. So um, there's ah uh, uh, my mask ah. Uh. It's the razor um, death adder. It's actually a, quite a nice ma uh, mouse for hands of all sizes. So uh, I'm sort of I'm being I'm being judged in real time by, by someone. Uh, and what it does is it um, it jams uh, anything kind of electrical. Uh, and I like that it sort of avoids the, the fake um, hacker aesthetic that a lot of uh, 
a lot of um, TV shows and, and games kind of. So you like, like in Satellite Rain, you have to like um, push a couple of buttons or whatever, but it's like considered very serious. Here you just have like a thing and you point into the thing and that's that. And it's not really that um, difficult. So I have been successfully calibrated. Okay, so you can tell that that thing is dangerous. So let's look around. Uh, let's see if we can uh, run. There we go. Uh, and and this area kind of looked like a trap to me, but um, it was all right. Anything on screen is uh, is something that I, I need to pay attention to, and maybe that's a, an intentional part of it. Um, let's see what's down here. This game is so maze-like, despite all the hints that are given to you, that uh, this already feels like I'm kind of playing it for the first time. All across this land, I have created trials for you to overcome, and within each, I have hidden a sigil. It is your purpose to seek these sigils, for thus you will serve the generations to come and attain eternal life. So there's obviously like the, like I don't even need to mention it, like the Judeo-Christian um, kind of uh, imagery and quotations and all of that. I'm just on the lookout for uh, scary bot balls. I spent a lot of time kind of going through all of these ruins and arch archways, but uh, yielded a lot of nothing, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, try and solve some puzzles and catch us up to where we left off. So I see a purple door, so I say let's go there, and you can um, press shift to hug, go really fast. So now we're in here. This one's called People. Right, so uh, the thing that you'll notice is that if I take this and try to go through here, um, oh, where did I go? I got lost. Uh, you, you cannot, you cannot do that. So, so you can only really use it from this angle. I spent a lot of time trying to freeze this. This little sentry bot and that little sentry bot. Um, but I decided to do the double whammy after much trial and error. And I go through, and uh, you can evade the presence of um, the bots if you run fast enough, but generally, the second time they detect you, uh, you're toast. And uh, I'll, I'll just show you what that looks like. start right at the beginning of um, the puzzle so the guardians of this land may harm you but do not resent them for they are my servants and they challenge you only so that your faith might be strengthened oh yeah right so that kind of solves the problem of uh, not being able to take this jammer I'm looking at back out to uh, disable those guys so I'm gonna enter uh, you, can, you can touch and that's fine. Um, so what did I do? I took this jammer. I took this jammer. What did I do? Oh, I can carry this out. Yes. <laughs> so that's happening. And I'm going 
go go back into my little uh, my safe space uh, and use this jammer now to. serve you in times to come. They're, um, they're literally Tetris pieces. So. so, we leave now. Kind of hightail out of here, just in case. We're going, we're going, we're going. I think we went through here and through here. And uh, now you see a check mark. Oh, so the first thing I checked first was uh, this, and uh, it tells me that I need these three pieces, um, none of which I own. Uh, so we're gonna go look for the three pieces. Yeah, gotcha, gotcha. So yeah, we can get all three of them. Let's get the Z before we get the little L's. Switch out of reach. I can't remember the order in which I did things, but I know that this one is covered um, in the second half, so let's uh, go ahead and do this. So outnumbered. This one was uh, tough, I think, um, and it might take me a minute to remember. Oh, okay, we got the jammer. So this one makes me... Shapes you are collecting are not mere toys. It's they Tetris. are the sigils of our name. Gotcha. Each brings you closer to eternity. I think that that voice is intentionally meant to be cheesy because otherwise... I'm not a fan, but I, I think it's that he's very much supposed to be like this invented, maybe um, a very archetypal god. I 
I messed that one up. Uh, I really, I don't know. Although I think that last time he, I tried so hard and he told me that I didn't need to try so hard. Uh, so, I mean, but are there any other places that I can go? I don't, I don't think so. There's, I do not remember how I saw that one. Uh, I, can, I can get an L over here. Done, child. Only one more sigil is needed. My child, there is no shame in seeking another path. Leave this mystery for another day. What is 
Elohim? Is Elohim the, uh... Is that a word for, for Jesus, or...? God or something? I, I feel like... Let's just, like, point this at everything. I couldn't do it, you cranky old man. Take the sound of something exploding. There you are, my little teddy. Well done, child. Only one more sigil is needed. I don't know if you can see my steam overlay, but uh. Maybe I could quickly, um, so I, I just, it's not like a, uh, I just, I, sometimes I grab my breast when I'm overexcited. Wait, do I go, I, let's, let's take the jammer and like, uh, try, try a little song. You 
sound old. that also looks kind of choppy so there's sort of a, a, a visual uh, noise really that's happening that's just like making me find patterns and clues and everything that aren't actually there with it. softening like the further back you go um, in, the, in the imagined plane of the painting um, uh, the hazier things will become um, and that sort of gives gives you a more realistic sense of, of depth and it's the same like in a like photography like uh, having a, a very shallow depth of field is, is a very different feel for this space is having um, a very deep depth of field um, Meaning that, like, uh, in in a in a three D setting, um, either a little bit is in focus or a lot is in focus. Um, and and this game, like, everything is the same kind of excruciatingly high level of detail that uh, it's kind of giving me a headache. But I'm having such a good time so far. So so you you just shut it. Um, but it says that I can get this one too. I don't want to go to the temple yet. Daddy? My oh. child, you do not need to collect all sigils at once. But you are free to return to this place whenever you choose. Probably just jump over them. No. 
I'm out. Peace. See you, fucker. pancake makeup because you know I have taste but uh you know like pretty elaborate makeup uh yeah, this is where we came from I don't know how to literally like you <laughs> well Daddy Elohim, where did I come from? As long as you um, move fast enough. All is well. I, I imagine I'm supposed to take this. I think I'm pretty sure we've been. Second is this a new puzzle? So like, um, yes, shadows can be crisp, and yes, I kind of get like the crispness of like a, like a noon, I can't even see the sun, it's kind of overcast actually, but uh, just some things need to be softened, I think, honestly. It's like someone got like a starter pack of like a make your own map kind of uh, textures and decided to really just go like ham, like just super hard as a motherfucker. Um, I said that twice so that you guys would know what I meant by ham. Wait, I've, I've been in here though. Have I? Ah yes, we did people. Wait a 
a second. Did I just take a huge roundabout to get back here? I... Come on. like navigation what's back there what are you that's the ladder that took me over the wall but then was going but like I ran really fast. Would that achieve anything? No. I don't know where I am but there's something beautiful about this place. I will explore and see what I can discover. Right on sis, you would do that. I have a feeling that you're probably dead. You guys have to bear with me. See, I, I'm a female, so uh, I'm not so good with the directions. But no, like I have serious issues with like cardinal directionality. Uh, and I do feel like I talk myself down a lot, um, and I really don't mean to. I actually have a pretty huge ego. And like most people and kind of don't find them worth talking to. Um, but I think I do it so that you guys will like me. Um, so uh, let, let me know if it's working. <laughs> I find myself in a world of impossible architecture and inexplicable machines. I cannot fathom how it works. I'm terrified to put one foot in front of the other lest I fall through the floor. Okay, it's pretty simple. So you pick up the yellow thing, and then it tells you where to point it. Ah, right. Okay, okay. This is the day. I guess it's necessary to this narrative that has been constructed in good faith uh, by these game designers that have great reputations for writing compelling storylines. But like at this point, just like the religious references are in enough. the whole game from this point forward was just to go through 47 7 million times. Just local. Uh. So just 
just from cheating, I know that Milton's a thing, so let's see if he pops up. first response is going to be understand is a strong way to put it, but yes. Um, I, I think you understand that. Anyway, um, should I be mean? Is it petabytes or petabytes? Like Entire internet in 2003. Well, have I got a surprise for you, 2003? Um, there's uh, a lot more pornography now. Oh, I just asked that? No. Um, are you able to take offense and pointless contraption? Can I apologize? talking to Siri and she just doesn't get it. He's a sneaky boy. He's very flat-footed, but I don't think he's a flat-footed uh So I can, I can feel like a hacker. Excuse me, I'll read this out loud. Lena in the Garden of the Hesperides. The Lord did not trust them. They moved with such grace, such an ability that it was hard not to follow them further. To the strange garden of years and cause them, like where we are now, get it? Uh, they led her to a place where the crowns of the brass trees seemed to grow together. Blue steel. Blue steel is not necessarily really that great. Um, if you blew your steel, uh, it means that you've made it brittle, generally. Uh, this, uh, not uh, probably for the wrong reasons. But, oops. Um, it reminds me of like all these like, meta texts. Oh, 
Step into the light, child, and my temple will be revealed to you. What if I just didn't? <laughs> stones of my temple, whence many gates lead, and know that I have other temples, for my garden is greater than your eye can encompass, and all up. these worlds I made for you. This game is fantastic so far, but it's making me think about Undertale, which, like, I did not. Mysteries in my garden, hidden roads and secret gates. You could just say the If you locked. dedicate yourself to understanding them, you may join the host of messengers. Black people in the world tell me that I'm not a sick fan. So that's a state of this fan. And then I realized I don't have a family really. That's why I'm spending Christmas weekend.
guy only moves back and forth then um
Let this be our covenant. These worlds are yours, and you are free to walk amongst them and subdue them. But the Great Tower, there you may not go. For in the day that you do, you shall surely die. What's the first thing that you think this person's gonna do when they're told that they can do a bad thing? Uh, if your answer was go up the tower, you're wrong. The first thing that I would do is kill myself because. his blood in a flask. This is like the, uh, um, the test they give to the cyborgs or whatever. I forgot what they're called. Uh, the replicants. The Blade Runner, they give that, that test. I never really like reading these very much. Uh, the game that I like keep talking about, um, probably my favorite game of the last three to five years. Uh, stasis it, it also like through the ruins and the wreckage and like the rot. There's like a lot of rotting flesh. all these PDAs that belong to various like low, low and high level ranking employees. Um, I'm not sure at all. Uh, had journal entries like that and I know they're supposed to like lend an air of humanism and you know all kinds of just fun stuff. Honestly, like, um, things that are left behind, these thoughts that are left behind by people that I'll never meet, the characters that I will never care about, uh, even if they divulge, like, a little bit of helpful information, um, is, is not that interesting for me.
says it's Team Fortress 2. I could, I could do that. No, I think it has to be this window. That way we can do the, the double trouble thing. And, um... And that way I can take this. suspect to you. Duck. Hold on. Okay. I need to use the other jammer to hold open the door. Learning, as is oh, your purpose. In my oh, my but Lord. your choices must be your own. Therefore, I will not guide you, unless it is necessary. Oh my God! This looks like a huge cum stain on my lap. <laughs> I am a female on the internet. I make sex jokes. I guess it's supposed to convey like glitches. Sunny, I'm 
swimming when you're dead. I learned how to swim in my mid 20s because I like bike riding. Not only did I grow up in the city and was not taken to, given any opportunity to engage in activities that because they were working really hard. Uh, but also because we're in the city, so I spent most of my time riding the subways and the Crosstown bus and uh, uh, snorting a lot of cocaine and um, being a little pissant. Uh, <coughs> not really engaging in. And my father is afraid of water and my mother would uh, verbally berate him for being afraid of water. So, uh, that's, a, that's a nice family story. Um, and that's why maybe I didn't go to see them this Christmas, and I stayed here, and I'm actually really glad that I didn't go, because can you imagine uh, paying JetBlue like a thousand dollars? Specifically in order to just be unhappy. I got really distracted. I am. Um, I'm gonna talk about my family all the time. So y'all better get used to it. I'm lost. Uh, I might stop playing in a minute. Or we'll take a break, at least. Okay, something's glowing. I don't even know if I want to go in there. Okay, let's do it. Okay, so you know when you're playing TF2? That's four, I think. Four times I've mentioned it. You know when um, a soldier, friendly soldier, whips you with the disciplinary? When I was a little girl, action. one of our teachers, Mrs. Higgins, told us yeah. to make a time capsule. Write letters to the future so one day we could remember what it was like to be children. I thought it was stupid, so I didn't do it, which I really regret. So, <laughs> I guess I'm going to make one now. Bury it in the archive instead of under a tree. I don't know if anybody will ever find it, but somehow it sorry. seems important to keep talking, to keep thinking. For as long as I can. See one phallus, two phalluses, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Uh, not even counting the trees, showing me that the patriarchy is real and the struggle is real. Have I been through this way? Oh yes, that's the seat. Did I really make it all the way back? Plan 
it's a, it's a plan. The gods must be crazy, you know that movie, yeah. It's like that. You don't think I could, like, run and grab that guy? The guards must be crazy, the gods must be crazy. Oh, one more, one more. You guys are little shits, aren't you? What if I hid? here. This has been by far the most engrossing uh, one of like the three games that I've done so far. Probably a little bit too long as well. Um, I'm definitely going to come back to this one as well. Uh, this is game number 200 and I have an average rate of completion of 14%. So I will be back. I just really want to know, can I kick it? Yes, I can. But can I kick it? Yes, I can. But can I kick it? Yes, I can. Oh, go on. Go on. There's a trap that flows in layers. Oh, okay. I don't need to bring it. They each have their own. I can 
go straight for the object. Okay, yep, I got. Mm, mm. So, um. Thanks for watching. I had a really good time with this one. Uh, like, super duper good. And I'm gonna be so bummed if I find out this didn't record or you can't hear me. Uh, pew pew pew! Um. But, uh. I just keep trying to figure this one out. Son, you do not have to. What? He came all the way out here? What are you looking at me for? Um, but yeah, I had like a super duper good time uh, with this guy. And. Like, I can't I can't stop. Um, so I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna stop now. <clears throat> Sure, sure, sure. Uh, didn't I just say to quit? Um, this is kind of my style of game, and it's like I keep just drawing um, connections to Portal because of uh, the way that at first it's it's very much like untimed um, uh, puzzles, but at some point they become more like uh, reflex oriented. Um, on top of that, you know, like avoiding lasers or understanding when certain, like, uh, death traps are gonna happen. So, uh, um, and I like that about that because the similarities are not like a, a rip-off type of thing. It's it's more just a, it's like my favorite parts of Portal, and also the parts that frustrate me the most because like uh, if I wanted to do everything on easy mode, those like time-sensitive puzzles wouldn't exist at all. But. Um, Gotta train. How many fucking times do I need to tell you? <laughs> All right. Look, my face is gonna get bigger. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. And it goes to the middle. That's pretty magical. Um, I just realized like half my clothing is on. Um, I'm wearing a shirt from yesterday. Uh, so let's just pretend I made this video with all the other videos yesterday but uh thanks very much for watching um if you did watch this uh it became sort of like a walkthrough and i know uh some of it was a little probably tough to sit through but um these are genuinely my first impressions and that's what i wanted uh even for myself like to go back and be like to really taking it like an hour to figure that out um I'm gonna start drinking more coffee before I make these videos because uh, I have I I have a tendency to uh, kind of mumble uh, on top of the fact that I have um, somewhat nasal and also a little bit masculine like a deeper voice um, and in some scenarios it worked out uh, when I did my late night slot on 88 one of them um, uh, I was told I had a very soporific voice meaning that you know uh, I put people to sleep and because it wasn't like rush hour it wasn't dangerous I wasn't like having people fall asleep at the wheel or anything um so so I can do my radio voice and be like you know welcome to uh BSR uh 88.1 FM Providence uh student community radio thank you for tuning in um but I can also say fuck you and good night <laughs>